Hi friends, here in this video, we are going to see what is a differential YouTube manometer. I'll draw the diagram in order to explain it. So here is the differential YouTube manometer. It is used to measure the pressure difference in two pipelines. Here I have indicated pipeline A and here we have pipeline B. Now here we can see that there is level difference between pipe A and pipe B. We can see that the left pipe or pipeline A is above pipeline B. It can be at same level as well or pipeline B can be above as well. It means it is not compulsory that only the left pipe should be above. It can be any configuration. At the same time, we can have two similar liquids at different pressure inside both the pipelines or we can have two different liquids inside the pipeline like I have shown here in pipeline A there is a liquid and then in pipeline B there is another liquid. Now the height of the liquid in the left limb is denoted as HA because I am indicating the fluid as A whereas on the right side the fluid is B so its height is up to the center of the pipe that is HB at the same time this is a differential YouTube mercury manometer which contains mercury so the height of mercury which we are getting it is in the right limb and again it is not compulsory that we, we will get this height of mercury in the right limb only it can be in the left limb as well so why it has shifted to the right limb is because the pressure inside pipeline A is greater that is why it is shifting the mercury in the right limb. Suppose if the pressure in pipeline B was greater than A then it would have shifted the mercury inside the left limb. So HM H suffix mercury is the height of mercury and here is section XX over which we are going to balance the intensity of pressure that is above the section XX in the left limb we have pressure inside pipeline A plus this height which we, which is going to exert a pressure on section xx on the left side similarly on the right side we have pipeline b and this height of mercury as well and this hb which i have indicated actually this would be only up till just up to mercury it won't be up to the bottom hb will remain only up till here it is not there at the bottom so HB as I have indicated it is only up to this height just above the mercury level not up to the bottom because up to the bottom there is mercury. So how to find out pressure using the differential YouTube manometer for that we need to write the equation.
सो इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर इन द लेफ्ट लिम्ब अब सेक्शन एक्स एक्स देर इज पाइपलाइन ए सो द प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड बाय फ्लूड ए प्लस देर इज दिस हाइट ऑफ लिक्विड विच विल एक्सर्ट अ प्रेशर एट सेक्शन एक्स एक्स सो द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ प्रेशर वुड बी रो जी एच एंड आई एम राइटिंग सफिक्स ए बिकॉज रो ए वुड इंडिकेट द डेंसिटी ऑफ दिस लिक्विड G is 9.81 and H A is the height of this liquid column. So that would become equation number first. Similarly, calculating for the right limb. now in the right limb as we see over this section xx there is pressure exerted by fluid in the pipeline which is p of x b h b is the height of the liquid column in the right limb so pressure exerted is rho g h into b that is for fluid b and at the same time we have the height of mercury and in the left limb the mercury level was zero whereas in right limb it is having height h so the intensity of pressure is rho g h of mercury and that would become the second equation so then equating 1 and 2 we can easily find out either pa minus pb that is the difference in pressure or we can find out pb minus pa so as we can see when we i have equated equation 1 and 2 pa i have kept it on to the left side pb brought to the left side so pa minus pb this right hand side will remain same and rho g h into a it would be shifted to the right hand side so in this way we can find the pressure difference between two pipelines by using a differential u tube manometer at the end if you all find my videos helpful you'll get like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it among your family and friends thanks for watching